Hey guys, Marley here and welcome back to another video. Today we are building a house and we are building a house because something very excited happened. The Sims 4 got platforms. Yes, the new platform update was released today and I was so excited to play with it that I had to build a house right away. Um, you can see when I started this house, I was really determined to try to find a way to make the platforms form a loft. Unfortunately, this didn't really work how I thought it would and I ended up, um, you know, not being able to do it in the way that I would like. However, there is a way that you can kind of cheat it, which is what I did, um, by just making it feel like the gap between the floor and the ceiling is less large, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I couldn't find a way to make the loft work. I spent so much time, that was my whole goal for the day, was making like a functioning loft out of the platforms and it's just not really possible. Um, you can see I started this home like as like a general like family home and then I quickly realized that that was going to look really weird. So instead we went ultra modern, which I have never done before. Um, and I think in the end it turned out really weird. Like if you like weird houses, I think you'll really love this. I have like a very specific set of Sims that I envision living here. I envision like two dads and like their teenage daughter and then like maybe a cat or something. Um, but there is three bedrooms in this house. One of them is kind of a guest room slash office, a master bedroom, and then the teenage girl room. Well, it can be for anyone, but I'm envisioning a teenage girl that has that cool like lofted bed area. Um, but as you can see right now, I'm making some custom stairs with the platforms. This was not difficult, but tedious. Um, I just really wanted to try to use the platforms in every way that I could think of. And these are functioning. They only go up one step each. So your Sims will use these to get up the stairs. And I will say that it is overall not as useful as I would have liked it to be. Um... <laughs> You know, I just wanted to try to use the platforms in every way possible, and right now I'm not that impressed. Like, a lot of it looks really cool, but it's really tedious, and it's not as user-friendly as I would have liked it to be, and it took a lot of time um, to get anything done. I think the best use of the platforms is how I'm doing them now as I'm editing the roof. Because for a while, we've, you know, if you've wanted to have a flat roof, you can't really make it thick enough to really make sense. But now with the platforms, you can. I would honestly say that's their best use. Um, I did use them as, a, there is one part of this build that isn't functional, and that's because I use the platforms to make like a makeshift kitchen bench later that your Sims won't really sit at. But it does look cool. So, you know, if you like it, you like it. Again, this house is really not meant to be entirely like played in. It's really just was for me to test out the platforms. And I thought you guys would get a kick out of watching it. Um, I never build ultra modern builds. I haven't actually done a build on the channel in quite a long time. So I'm happy to be back. But yeah, I don't really do modern builds on the channel a lot. So I thought you guys would enjoy it. It's maybe my first ultra modern house to ever build. Um, I really am inspired by the Simstream. I think they build like amazing ultra modern homes and I watch their videos and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I could do that. But really I am nowhere compared to the level of talent they are at. Um, but I tried my best. I think that I might do like another modern build soon. that's not focused on using platforms. That's just focused on being modern. Um, because like on this one, I was like, I just got to use platforms everywhere. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. So some of the things just look weird. Again, I think that there are people who would like to play in this house. And if that's you, you can find it on the gallery. It's called Modern Platform Home. Um, you can find it. My name is Marley Nicole, one, two, three on the gallery. So you can find it there. And, uh, I, you know, it's a pretty cool house, I guess. I'm not knocking it, but it's very specific. You need like very specific sims to live here. I haven't done a build in a really long time where the bedrooms actually have like sims in mind. Like I usually try to make them more like show houses so any family can move in. But this one is definitely only for um, like a specific sim, you know? Like not every sim is gonna love this house. Um, right now my sim self is living there. <laughs> I would not live in this house. I do not like it. Ultra modern is not my style, but my sim self is moved in because I needed a sim to test things. And I did test this house. Everything should work except for the weird kitchen bench situation. Uh, I just wanted that for the looks of it. You know, I think that there might be a way you could make that work. Maybe, you know, sims don't really sit on ledges, but maybe we could, maybe that'll be an update one day. 
Uh, speaking of updates, this was an update today. It also came with sentiments preparing for the release of Snowy Escape tomorrow. And if you guys watched my last video where I talked about the things that I am most excited for in Snowy Escape, um, you will know that since then we have had a gameplay trailer come out and that trailer revealed to us that the trains were a lie. I'm so upset about this. It almost made me not buy the pack, but alas, I had a story in mind. So you guys can expect, I'm not gonna try to do a let's play because I never finish my let's plays. <laughs> um, I always just get too nervous. Like I'm like, oh, it's been a week. No one's gonna wanna watch it anymore. And then I don't finish them. I get too ambitious, but I do have like a short story in mind that'll be like three to five parts. I'm going to film it all in one day so I have no excuses not to finish it and then batch release it throughout the week. I think you guys will really enjoy the story that I have in mind to tell. I hope you will. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do because I never finish Let's Plays. Also, another update on Blood Island. I am going to record and release that. It will probably be up next weekend. We got tons of submissions, so I might have to split it into two parts, so look out for that. Um, I'm just waiting until I get a paycheck, guys. Gotta get that money for those giveaways, you know? So, that's the plan on that. It will be out at some point next week. I'm not exactly sure when. I don't really have a schedule. Um, speaking of schedule, uh, follow me on Twitch because I stream there pretty much every day. I didn't stream today because I really wanted to get this video out, but pretty much every day I stream on Twitch. Um, I play Minecraft and Sims and Among Us and Jackbox games and just like all kinds of random stuff, whatever I'm feeling that day. So it's a really good time. And I think that if you like Twitch content and if you like my content, especially my speed builds, you would really enjoy it. I think that the speed build and the Twitch provide a similar experience, except if you go to Twitch, you get to chat with me live, which is super exciting. It's one of my most favorite things to do. So go give me a follow. Um, and if you do go give me a follow, there's a giveaway going on in my Twitter. So go check that out as well. All you got to do is follow me here on YouTube or on Twitch and prove that you did it on Twitter. So there's all the cross promotion. Go give my socials some love. I will really appreciate it. Right now I'm working on the teenage girl like loft bedroom. I actually really like this room. Um, it has like this little desk area under. Did you guys hear that wobble? That was my dog. Uh, it has this like little desk area underneath. I imagine like the person, the teenager hanging out with their friends under here and doing like secret meetings for their club, you know, in here and she has a really cool like closet thing and then obviously her bed is up in that lofted section and I think that it looks really nice especially when you're playing in live mode and you're kind of going into like cab cameraman it creates like a really nice little cubby hole and that makes me so happy if you know me at all you know that I love cozy cubby holes um in real life and in The Sims. And I think that one thing Platforms is allowing us to do is to make some tiny cubbies. And I'm definitely hype for that. Um, I think that like, from what I'm reading and the platforms work in the way of that you, depending on your Sims age is how it decides whether or not they can go under like a floor when they're on a platform. So toddlers, you can make like tiny toddler holes right? That's so cute. I don't know why you would, but you could make a tiny toddler hole if you really wanted. Um, yeah, I really like this room. I think it's really nice. The whole house is very simple. There's not a lot of clutter. I put like very minimal clutter down. I wanted it to feel open and breezy and like really cohesive. Like just the people who, who own this house are interior designers, you know, they have the perfect home. All of the colors match. The only room that's an exception to that is the room I'm working on right now because I figure, you know, teenagers, that's not usually their, like, vibe. So it is a little, it's oriented towards the teenager. So there's, like, a poster on the wall and I did put some, like, dirty laundry on the floor. So it's very minimally cluttered, but the rest of the house has absolutely no clutter. Um, so you can really tell that the Sims who live here are neat. They probably have a housekeeper that comes, like, twice a week and cleans the whole house for them. That's what I would imagine. Um, it's not a huge house. It's a pretty small house, actually. But again, I wanted to get it done today. So I didn't want to go overboard. I think that I will eventually build a modern mansion. I, I think it's time. I've never done something like that. I'm fiending for something new. And I do think it's time. But I'm working on a build right now that is my dream house build. So I got a lot of stuff going on. 
Uh, if you see like right there where I zoomed in, there's little holes in the floor. That's because the platforms work in such a way that if you put a round platform in a square room, it like leaves holes, which I think is dumb because how are you ever going to use the round platforms if that's the case? But yeah, that's a glitch. So I just covered those up with some chairs. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, this master suite is weird. The bathtub and the shower are both just out in the room, but there's no toilet. If you want the toilet, there's a, like a half bath at the end of the hallway. And like, I get that that's weird, but it's what I wanted to do. So it's what I did. I realistically could have made this entire floor into a master bedroom, but I kind of missed the opportunity and I didn't realize until it was too late. So instead, you're going to get this. Again, this is weird, but the people who live here are weird. You know, they like built this house custom to be exactly how they want. Um, and they wanted their shower and bathtub to be watchable from the bed, you know, just for just in case. Just in case that's something that you wanted to do in this house, you can do it. And I think it looks kind of cool. I've stayed in vacation houses before where the bathtub was out in the room like this. And I didn't mind it. It didn't bother me. Um, and it clearly doesn't bother these Sims. So they have like this bath area. I put some candles and some towels and all of those nice things that you're seeing now. And then the shower is in that little room. I use the um, university shower so that I could make it custom. And yeah, and then there's just like a bed and a dresser and other bedroom furniture happening. <laughs> so it's, it's weird. It's weird, but I like it. And I hope that you guys like it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about what I did here today because I'm really insecure about it. I, I've never built a house like this and I just don't know. I don't know if it's my thing. But I'm willing to do it again, you know. If anyone wants to download this house, it's there. Um, I, there's another build that I want to renovate using the platform pool. I made a theater back in, I don't know, a couple months ago. Like a theater where you would perform on stage. And I think the platform tool would honestly just make it a hundred times better. So I might go through and just renovate some of my builds that need platforms like the theater and, um, some of the lounges I think could use stages for performance reasons. I think that it would just look better. So there's a couple builds I think I'll go back and just add platforms to and then update them on the gallery. I'm so glad platforms came for everyone. It would have been really dumb if they would have come only in Snowy Escape, but the Sims team has done dumber things before. Um, speaking of, lifestyles are only coming in Snowy Escape and I don't mind this because you know like they can't give out all the best content for free or they won't make any money and it's a company yada 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 but it disappoints me because I think this means that after this we won't be getting any updates to lifestyles so none of the future packs or the past expansion packs are going to affect lifestyles and that really disappoints me um However, I was watching some Game Changer reviews. Obviously, I don't have the pack yet. I am not special enough for EA to send me things. But I was watching some Game Changer reviews, and it looked like lifestyles don't actually play that large of a role, which is really disappointing. So I guess we will have to see. Um, you're seeing here, I put in some regular stairs, and then I thought about it. Like, you can just see that pause where it was like a pregnant pause. I thought about it, and I was like, nah, it's supposed to be a platform build. You got to add in the platforms. So then I go through, and I make custom stairs out of the platforms. <laughs> This house is just a platformy mess. It really is. Uh, but like I said, all of these things are usable. Your Sims can use them. As long as the platforms are no more than one step above each other, then your Sims are perfectly smart enough to figure it out. Um, just like they can go up one step of foundation, then go up one step of platform. I'm really disappointed that there's no way to get under the platforms. Like, I wish there was a way to delete the foundation part under the platform so that we could do loft spaces and um like put little cubby holes and like make custom shelves and all of those things that's kind of my one disappointment with this well i mean i have more disappointments they're very hard to work with they are not user friendly in the slightest it took me forever to get these little stair bits in even though it doesn't look like it um but yeah so i mean the platforms they're cool they're fun to build with i'll probably use them in builds but not like in every single build I think it's one of those things that for like a week, everyone's going to be making builds that are like heavy on the platform usage, and then we're all going to forget about it and then give up and then really not use them anymore. Kind of like configurable stairs. 
Um, but regardless, it was cool for this build, and I probably will... I, like, oh, one thing I really liked, I did like using them. I made a really cool custom, like, pool deck outside that we'll get to. I think that was a good use. I saw someone make a build, and it was on the... Hmm, where did I see it? I saw just, like, the thumbnail, and I didn't watch it. I'm so sorry. It probably... It wasn't from the sim stream, but it was from someone who builds like the sim stream. And they did like a round platform over a pool. And I was really inspired by that, but I couldn't figure out how they did it. So I just like did something different that kind of looked similar, but not as good. Um, but if you guys know that video, if it's ringing a bell to you, please comment it down below so that I can go actually watch it and give these people credit. Um, this was another weird thing. You can see I was trying to figure out how high chairs were to judge how high I wanted this like fake bench to be. And if you put a chair in the platform and then sink it down, it just, like, puts your chair into the ground. Which, I don't know. That's just kind of weird. I guess it works. Um, you can see me, like, really trying to decide how I want to do this. I was trying to see if there was a way I could maybe glitch it to where they would sit at the bench. And there's just, like, really not. So, I eventually gave up. And I was like, alright, that part will be decorative. decorative. There will be two functional chairs here. And then there's a huge outdoor dining space with eight chairs. And there's a huge couch and stuff. So... There's plenty of places for people to sit, and they don't usually all eat at once anyway, but they're not going to eat together, ever. Um, I put some pillows here to hopefully, like, help the look, help the aesthetic of what I was going for. And I was just, like, testing things out, seeing, like, which items go inside the platforms, which items go on top of the platforms. Um, this kitchen, I struggled to make it look good. I don't even know if it looks good in the end, but I, it's what I did. You know, this whole build, I was just like, ah. I was just like, ah, it's so weird. And it may be fantastic. I don't even know because I don't do modern. So it might be great. Who knows? I guess you guys will and you'll let me know. Um, I do have some life updates. I started a new job. Yay, everyone clap for Marl. Um, and I am doing like basically like customer service for a startup company, working from home, sending a lot of emails. So my videos will slow down probably. Um, just because there's not enough time in the day to get it all done. I'm working most of the day and I want to live stream and, you know, the whole shebang. So please forgive me if uh, my videos slow down. They'll probably try to do like one or two a week. Maybe more like after the new pack comes out, I'll probably do like more videos that week. But then like one or two a week is what we can expect. Um, and I used to kind of feel like if I'm only going to do one or two a week, why do any at all? But now I'm in a place where I'm like, fuck it. It's, it's like, I'm not trying to like, this isn't, this isn't my career. So if I just want to do one or two a week, like fun Sims builds and then just like not worry about, oh, but the analytics and it'll hurt me in the long run. Then I'm not going to worry about it. You know, it's not really affecting me. Oh, speaking of, I made a custom sectional here out of those university couches. It looks really weird and I love it. So yeah, everything in this build was experimental. Ooh, you know what I should have done? I should have just done one tiny platform as a coffee table. I didn't think of it at a time, but, like, add it to the list of ways you can do platforms. I could have done, like, a two-by-one little platform as a coffee table, and I think it probably would have looked pretty cool. Um, your Sims don't use the coffee tables anyway, so, you know. I added in this fireplace. I was going to put it on a platform, but then the platform would have deleted the wall behind it, and it would have been a big mess. And at this point in the build, like, there's always a point in the build where I usually, like, give up. <laughs> Quite frankly, I get tired of building and I need a break. And this was the point where I was like hitting like the like building fatigue. Um, so I really rush it to the end. I'm really phoning it in. But basically I was like, uh, no, nah, I'm not doing another platform there. It's going to mess up everything. And then I just put like some more random couches around. You know, I, I don't know why, but I feel like this would be a party house. Like I feel like this house is built for entertainment. I couldn't think of another way to get a bathroom downstairs and I had all the space and I wanted to make a room so this is what we got um it's a guest bedroom on one side and the other side is like a really nice office space so I'm imagining that one of our like parent sims works from home and they have this just like really nice office but also it's a guest bedroom because sometimes the in-laws like to stay over and sleep here like maybe a mother-in-law likes to come over so they like leave a bed in there just in case 
and it's like ready for guests but it's also like mostly just an office most of the time I think that's really nice that's like realistic and it makes it less weird that everyone has to come through here to use the toilet if this bedroom isn't in use obviously if you move your sims in you can make this bedroom in use and then there still is that toilet upstairs that's a half bath um, unfortunately this means that whoever lives in the loft room is going to have to either shower in this person's room or the room upstairs but again i'm like envisioning this house is custom built and they're not planning on having any more kids and they're not planning on having anyone live here so there's a bathroom in this room because they were like ah it's always going to be a guest room so there can be a bathroom here for guests and then you know most of the time it's the daughter's bathroom i also envisioned she was like a child at least when they built this house so she kind of had a say in that cool loft situation like that was like her input she was like i have to have a loft bed and they were like uh okay sure whatever you want and that's how the weird like loft room happened that's what i like to envision uh, but yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, you can see me doing the bathrooms. I did not do anything special in these bathrooms, so like don't expect anything. But there is a little half bath up here and then a full bath downstairs. And then I moved on, I think, to the outside. And I made a really cool like custom pool area that I think is really nice, but obviously like it's my own build, so it could be janky and I would never know. Um, but I basically just did like five different layers like of decking around the pool. So it's just like all different levels and stuff. It's really nice. And then there's a little yard in case, you know, you want some grass to lay on. I don't know. It's good to have grass around. I added an easel up here. Yeah, I tried to keep the decoration like to a minimum so that it would look really sleek and clean. So you'll notice there isn't as much like clutter and stuff as usual. Um, and I thought that that easel from university actually really fit in. So there is like one skill building object here. There's a couple bookcases. Okay, we're finally getting to the weird pool. So I was really trying to do that thing that I saw that other person do, who I don't even know who the name of is, so I can't shout them out, and put like a platform um, like over the edge. I think what they probably did was just make like a second floor of the house and then like bring it down to where it's like over the edge of the pool, probably. That's my best guess, but I couldn't figure it out. So this is what we have. The platform doesn't really go over the pool. It just, like, is near it. And then I kind of was like, all right, well, I took that from someone. But what else can I do? And so I put another platform. had to replace all of the walls. Like I said, sometimes the platform tool is a little frustrating. Um, you can see it just, like, deleted a bunch of stuff. She deleted it, and I had to fix all of that, which I might have cut out. I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah, so I'm just making, like, different levels here that you could use if you wanted to, like, Right there's a little lounge area, and then there's going to be, like, a little step down to, like, that little tiny patch where if you wanted to just, like, get into the pool, that's where you would do it. You would get into the pool from there, and then I do, like, another one on another level around this side where there's, like, a full dining area because um, I thought, like, you know, all your sims can't eat together inside, but maybe this is a family that really likes to hang out in the backyard, and they just eat dinner outside. So that's what I went with, and then I built this, and it goes all the way around, and it's like a cool like little table area with like a little pagoda on top. I wanted to use the one they gave us in the free update for Spanish Heritage Day, but I could not find it. So I used the good old, good old reliable island living one instead, which you guys have seen me use a hundred times at least. Um, if you guys know where the pagodas are like in the catalog, please let me know, because I have absolutely no idea. I was searching there through, like, outdoor decorations, couldn't find them. Um, but I was like, I know where this one from Island Living, like, I know it exists, so I just grabbed that one. And I think it looks fine, but I really wanted that flowery one that we got with the free update a couple weeks ago. Uh, then I struggled to find a fence that I liked. I ended up going with, like, half walls and, like, a weird glass fence. I don't know. It doesn't look like it makes total sense, but also, like, do rich people ever make sense? Not really. Like, if you've ever seen a tour of, like, Jeffree Star's house or, like, a Kardashian house, it doesn't make any sense. So, my build doesn't have to make any sense either. And in a lot of ways, it does not. Because um, there's just, like, a glass fence around the yard. But I'm like, there's a really pretty view on the other side. Maybe they'd like to, like, look out, you know, sit on the deck, look out at the water. They're right on, like, a golf course pond or something. So, I figured that'd be nice. I did build this in Newcrest. Um, so, if you want to play with it, 
It's in Newcrest, and you can download it on the gallery at Marley Nicole 123. And I'm basically done here, except for some landscaping and some last, like, final touches. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a comment about peanut butter. Tell me why you love peanut butter. Um, and I love you guys so much. You guys are the best. You're the best community on the whole internet. I really appreciate all of your love and support. And if you liked this video, let me know. If you didn't like this video, let me know. And hopefully, I will see you guys next time. Be for sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch and subscribe to me here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start the music. So, goodbye.